All right, so we have we might have some more people joining us later, but let's get started. Thank you for joining me to the open house of Code for Fun Fall 2023. Um, my name is Servan de Mol, and uh, I will be um I will be uh, hosting this session for you. And uh, uh, we're going to oops um basically I'm going to focus a lot of the online products that we have, and then I will talk also about the in person program that we have. Uh, we are based in San Ivel, California, so obviously we have a lot of programs in person over there. Uh, but as some of the uh, people are joining us from outside of the Bay Area, I want to focus for first on the uh, online products that we have. Uh, a little bit about us, about Code for Fun. Uh, we have been in business for 10 years, and uh, we are a nonprofit, and our uh, mission is that uh, we make computer science uh, education available to all students, uh, which means that we spend a lot of adv time advocating about computer science. Uh, we spend a lot of time in schools, training teachers, uh, providing curriculum so that they can teach. So all of that um, uh, nonprofit work uh, needs to you know, come from something and we need to survive. And so in order for us to have a little bit of income, we also offer our own services in terms of teaching, which are the camps and the after-school programs. But when you choose a Code for Fun, know that all of our profits are being reused in the community to help boost the computer science education. Um, we have uh, been teaching for 10 years, and so we have reached uh, a, a long um I mean, a lot of, of students, about 47,000 students so far that we have reached, um, you know, with our teaching. Uh, we have trained 600 teachers. I'm talking about public teachers. Um, and uh, so it represents about a half a million of coding hours if you had to total this up. Um, so we've been there for, for a long time and we have reviewed our curriculum and made it the best. Um, to what we thought we have seen in the how the, the children are responding to our curriculum and uh, how they're progressing. So we have created a lot of, uh, of things that we have seen, but we also produced a lot of content ourselves. Our staff, um, mo most of the staffs who are, you know, providing uh, classes online, in person, during camps, um, they are usually, uh, I'm saying usually because it's not always the case, I'm also teaching, um, but they are usually students who are themselves studying computer science uh, uh, in their bachelor degree or their master degree. Uh, they go through an intensive um, training with us. Uh, they have background checked. Uh, they have mandatory training also for the state. And um, uh, and they are usually, we when we interview them, we want to check if they're passionate, if they're going to be able to uh, pass on that passion to their students. Uh, they really, really like computer science and they want to make sure that they usually say, that's something that we commonly see is, um, I wish I had something like Code for Fun when I was young because I love coding so much. So they you know, really have a passion for, for coding and they really want to teach it and pass it on to the next generation. Uh, here are the colleges that... Uh, um, who are representing last summer. So a lot of our students, uh, a lot of our teachers are, are staying with us after the summer. Uh, and we are recruiting, we have recruited from all of these uh, different colleges. Uh, so basically for the first um, program that I would like to introduce to you is called Code with a Coach. And so Code with a Coach, uh, if you go on our website, it's at codeforfun.com slash CWC. And Code with a Coach is a way for you to uh, a way for your student to participate into a class of maximum four students, live class with a, a teacher, and they are joining for one hour per week, um, and they are usually in two levels, right? So depending on the age, depending on their level, uh, depending on their um, ability to code and what the experience. They are put into a class with similar uh, students who have similar attitude. Sometimes it could be just two students. Sometimes it could be four, but no, no more than four people. So they have a lot of time, one-on-one uh, -on -one time or so with the, with the teacher. But usually, usually these students are following a certain program um, that we are also using uh, in an in-person 
um, which is called CS League. So they're following a certain program and they have basically supposed to move from tier to tiers. In each levels, so here are the level one, two, and three. We don't really have a lot of four, uh, but if you want to, if you have some students who are in high school and need help, you can uh, you can always reach out to us. But right now I'm going to focus on one, two, and three. Each level has about three tiers and a tier takes about a semester to complete. So if you're really starting at the age of seven with level one, expect to have three semesters before you're usually into level two, at least two. Uh, so what do we do? We focus a lot on uh, uh, computer science and programming, but not only about coding. Uh, we also work on uh, things like design, impact of computer science in the world. We also talk about hardware. Uh, here you can see um, one student is creating their computer um, out of paper, but before um, under this little keyboard, there's actually like a motherboard uh, with all the components and we talk about the components and what they do. And uh, we talk about data science. So uh, each of the, you know, we have a, a curriculum that we follow. And uh, level two, uh, so level one, we focus on Scratch Junior. Uh, we have three levels of Scratch Junior. We have unplugged activity. And then towards the end of le level one, we will do an introduction to Scratch. That will prepare them to the level two, where we focus more on Scratch. We use make code. We use make design, web design to HTML. And we'll do a, a small introduction uh, in Python at the end of level two. So this is where you're all about, uh, uh, you know, about 11 when you're about to go to level three. And then in level three, that's where we really focus on Python programming. Uh, we talk about cryptography. We create ciphers in Python. We also do mobile app. And then we do Pygame, uh, which is a, a way to create games in Python a little bit more easily. Uh, so our approach is project-based learning, which means that usually you don't we don't focus on the on the theory of the coding, but more applicable to something that the students really want to do. For example, game design, they love to create games. They love to play games, but they also love to create their own games and make it play by, by their family. Um, we also do a lot of artistic drawing. So basically patterns, drawing in random uh, positions or in a repeated position and, uh, and we create art. Uh, we talk a lot about data science. Uh, data science is a big deal right now. Uh, this is data science is kind of like the preliminary before AI. Uh, data science is also recognized in the state of California, starting to make its way to as a replacement to some math. Uh, so, you know, the importance of understanding what, how to interpret data, how to represent data, uh, how to protect even data. Uh, so we are, incorporate that into our teaching. We also teach internet networking security. I talked a little bit about cryptography, but more like, how does internet work? How do we have data going from one place to the other? Um, and we use a design thinking process a lot when we're doing, a, when the, the students are creating their programs, which means like, think about who is going to be using your application, your game or, uh, or your program, and think about what their need might be. Um, so like I said, each year takes about one semester to complete and our instructors may change. You know, the your, you might see a different instructors when you go to the next, uh, the next level or the next tier. All of our instructors, I, I want to underline that, all of our instructors are very, very good. Uh, we have staff, um, senior staff who are basically man, um, monitoring uh, their progress and their classes. We're giving them resources. We don't just let them go in nature and teach to our students. Uh, they have we have a very good structure. Uh, what we have seen is that our the students and even the parents get very very attached to one instructor, and then when we are need to switch to swap the staff because it happens some uh, some instructors are moving on or some instructors have a different timing that is not working anymore. Uh, so we have the need sometimes to swap instructors and the parents and the students are like, oh, I want the same instructors over and over and over and over every single year. And we can't do that. So I just want to underline the fact that all of our staff, all of our instructors are really good. So give us a chance when there's a transition, um, because, you know, like I said, you might discover some 
that another instructor has a little bit more interest, for example, in Roblox, and your students is very, very interested in Roblox. And so, um, so that's the uh, the semi-private lesson uh, for Code with a Coach uh, work as a monthly subscription. Um, you will see the, here the price. You can have different days. So right now we have Thursday, Mondays, and Tuesday at certain time. So there's no cancellation fee for this product. There's no enrollment fee for this product. So, um, so that's good. Um, but you have a space and a schedule limitation because you're on a one to four, you will have to make sure that everybody comes online at the same time. So you have to pick one of these dates for a certain level. Uh, as opposed to if you want a little bit more um, choice, then you can opt in for a private lesson, which is a little bit more pricey, but the private lessons of Code with the Coach let you basically decide with the instructor what day and time you want to meet with them. Obviously, they have their own uh, classes and they have their own schedule, but it's much more flexible. Um, I really recommend private lessons when the student has uh, as either you know a very good progress academically or in in coding and they have basically done already a lot of the stuff that we are teaching and they really need they are passionate they really need something plus and so there you know our our curriculum uh, our standard curriculum might not be needed anymore or and we want to have we have other ideas or other challenges other things that we would like to do to carry on with your students. Uh, and then does that apply to the rest of the of the class? Um, and then the inverse, when your student is actually at a, a slower pace and they are progressing, they are very passionate, they really love it, but they need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time attention. Our private lessons are uh, also on the monthly subscription and same thing, no registration fee and no cancellation fee. Um, after that, if you don't want to go with code with a coach program because uh, it's a little bit too pricey or you're not sure that you want to sign up for a monthly subscription and you just want to try out code for fun, you can uh, check out our after school classes. Our after school classes online, they're online and in person, but there we have a lot online. So um, when you go to online um, in our in our website and you filter to the online classes, you'll find out that we have quite a bit of topics that we are uh, focusing on. And this is more, uh, a little bit more focused on coding per se, uh, while the Code with the Coach is a well-rounded computer science program. Here we are really focusing on coding. Maybe the, uh, uh, the data science uh, has a little bit extra, uh, but you have all the topics over there. So those, all of these classes, they actually have also levels so you usually start at level one so when you get to that particular page uh, you will see that uh, we have different levels for minecraft for example level one two and three and so each level is only five weeks five sessions so you know it's not a big commitment and you can say okay i'll try well let's try this and maybe after five sessions you decide that no this is not this is not for my student anymore, or yes, it is, and I want to go to level two, or I would like to engage into a code with a coach. Um, I'm coming back to the previous slides because I want to pay, uh, to um, to highlight a little bit uh, this page. Um, I really want to make sure that you read the prerequisites and the preparation before you sign up to a class, uh, because often some online, first of all, the students will need to obviously have their own device. Uh, sometimes a Chromebook would be okay, but sometimes it's not. So, for example, um, in the in some of the class with Python or even the Minecraft modding, we need you to buy a Minecraft license and install some things on your. Uh, so we need to the Minecraft Java edition, for example. So there are some preparation, and uh, it's disappointing uh, to see the students coming for the first class and they have not installed anything. They're not created the account, and the first session is pen to kind of like work with them on, on doing all of this stuff that could have been done before. Uh, so just make sure that uh, your student has the prerequisites required for the class and um, and that you know you have read all the preparation material. Um, we cannot because we have only five sessions, we cannot do makeup classes uh, for for those things. So sometimes you know a parent is telling us, oh we, I was not able to 
come to the first class and uh or i'm going to be missing the third class so can i have can i have um you know some money back or can i have a makeup class and unfortunately we can't do that uh when you book a, a spot then you book it and we have a maximum number of spots for each class and so you know it's not really convenient for us to um uh, to be able to refund after the class has started um, second, uh, we cannot do makeup class because our instructors have booked into, you know, each slot of, when they're done with their class, they have certainly another class. Um, we can send you an email and tell you what was covered, but, you know, with only five classes, uh, make sure that you are there every day. Um, so you have the schedule. We tell you if there's a day off or if there's a week off, but every week, you should have a weekly basis every week on third on, for example, Tuesday at three 30. The class will start, right? So make sure you have it on your calendar, that your students have it on the calendar, and then they are there for the class. We will send you a reminder. We will send you an email um, um, when we are not seeing the student logging on, uh, but it's not 100% that at the moment... Um, sorry, somebody's trying to join in. Um, it's not 100% sure that, you know, as soon as, you know, the student is not there, you'll get an email in the last, next five minutes. So make sure that you're putting it on the calendar. Um, we also, okay, so let's say that you're still not convinced that, you know, you want to try out Code for Fun for five sessions. Five sessions is too much. You just want to, like, check us out because you don't know Code for Fun that much. And um, you want to see, like, the experience uh, if you're, even if your child is like interested in this, well, we are offering uh, some coding workshops. They are just one hour. Uh, they cost only $30. Uh, you can scan this. I'm going to stay on this slide a little bit. You can take this, um, this uh, um, QR code. And uh, the registration is done via Activity Hero, not on our website, because we need to include that in our website. It's not done yet. But basically, uh, we offer... Um, uh, one hour workshops online and in person, but also online. And that's a great way to try it out um, and see with a very low cost, you know, how the session is going and how your student is taking it. If they're interested, it's sometimes a little bit hard to teach and to learn online. We all know that, you know, during the COVID we had no choice, but it's not always optimal. So, you know, you're not in the area, in the B area, you can't come to Sunnyvale to Learning Center. You want to try if this online thing is going to work with Code for Fun. Try a, a workshop and, and see how that works. Uh, I have to say that, you know, our instructors try to make the class as lively as possible. They engage with the students, especially when they are good with a coach. They are only four students. It's always a constant uh, discussion. We encourage the students to have their camera on to really I have a feeling that there's a classroom happening and that the, the, that the students can talk with each other and try sometimes to create a group uh, strategy for coding. Uh, so, so we try to, you know, make it the online classes as lively as possible. Um, so that was, you know, a little bit our um, online products. Uh, now, all of what I talk about exists also in person. Uh, we have in-person Code with a Coach, which is called, called CS League. And uh, CS League, basically, we have three levels, Hero, Titan, and Legend. Um, you have, for this product, it's a little less expensive than the online one, but for this one, you have a registration fee. Uh, but we do uh, pro provide um, a half an hour free evaluation to see where you know where your student fits, like which of the team, hero, titan, or legend, but also which tier, because we have three or four tiers for each of them. So we want to make sure that you are in the right tier and that you are with the correct group. So for, for that, you can come in, you can book an appointment online with us, have your student being evaluated, and then we make sure that we have the right tier. Um, and the thing that we can do in person, obviously, is more stuff using robotics. I mean, that's the the prime. And then you know the group group presentation, uh, the teaching is so much easier when we have the child with us and we can look at their code right away. When we have a, a unplug activity being done in the classroom, um, so 
this is the the little one the hero they are playing they are coding with a, a robot called Bebot. and this is a, a picture of scratch um we also if you don't want to do a subscription because the cs league is an online is a is a monthly sorry a monthly subscription and you're not sure that this is yet for you we also provide after cl school classes in person this time uh we have some of them coming uh you know, on uh, hosted at our learning center, but we have also a lot of locations at different schools. So on our website, you will find at the banner at the top for program. And if you open this, you'll see that we have several locations where we are teaching in schools or at the city recreation center. Uh, so not only in Sunnyvale, uh, but our main office is called for Fun Learning Center in Sunnyvale. And also we offer special coding workshops in person. Uh, same deal, but this time it's at our learning center. So if you're around Sunnyvale in California and you want to check us out, we'll be very happy to have you. Uh, you can, uh, you know, you can um, scan this QR code and that will give you the entire schedule of all of our workshops for August. Bear in mind that we will also have other workshops in September uh, that are more introductionary workshop on things that we're doing in the classroom. And then in October, we're going to switch gear and we're going to do complementary workshops where we're going to teach you something new, like 3D printing. We don't have a class on 3D printing, but we do have 3D printers and we might want to do uh, some design. And so, and we're going to have some intervenants, some people who want to come and, and share their uh, their experience with the kids on their work in AI, for example. So we'll have a lot of other things to offer. Um, and so, you know, bear, I mean, if you want to really uh, uh, look at our program of workshops, check our website, check out newsletter. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I wanted to give you a, an overview of our, um, of all of our programs. I'm going to switch to our website so that you can I can basically show you and how to navigate our website to get to all of these programs um, you will obviously go to four students and you have the after school classes over here and you know you can toggle between in person and online and you will be able to see you know everything that we have to offer you can decide that I want to only see what is for eight to twelve years old and um uh or maybe the 13 and 16 years old. Uh, so that's the after the after school uh, classes. If you go in there, you will see the prerequisite for the class and the different level, the different dates that this class is starting. Um, if it's online, if it's five weeks, once you um, log in and you buy something from us on the website, you will have a portal. So basically we keep your login and then the name of your child and you will always be able to go back to this portal and check out what did I buy? When when is the starting date again uh, for this class? And you can go back to the portal. So here, for example, I'm I'm logged in as uh, Servant Live and I can go to my profile. Those are like tests for me. They are not my real children, but uh, you can go in there and you will see you know, what has been bought for all of these children. So that's kind of a, a nice thing to 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 have. Your Zoom link will also be available there uh, about a week before the Zoom class starts. Um, and make sure that you know we have your right phone numbers because if a child is missing the class and we're trying to reach you, that's the phone number that we're going to use. So that's the after school classes. Uh, for the uh, code with a coach is at the at the bottom over here. So like I said, we have private sessions, but you can also scroll down and go to semi-private sessions and look at you know all the different levels um, and the different dates that we have to start. Don't worry about, uh, you know, we also will have dates in October once the September has launched, but we're trying to get groups of people at least at this spot. And then hopefully we will be able to offer some more. Um, then uh, we have the CS League. Uh, so this is where you can uh, view the classes. So for example, the level two happen on Thursday, Monday, and Saturday. So you can always look and like, okay, what am, do we, we have enough? Uh, do, can, are we available during those times, right? Sometimes you don't know that you're level two in Titan. So like I said, you can come 
and request for a free valuation. This is where you're going to find the link. Request a free valuation. It will give you um, a calendar and you can book any of those days, any of those spots for free valuation. And like, like I said, our workshop, they're a little hard to find our website, but they are there. I'll show you. At the, at the top over there, you have a rolling thing that says in-person coding workshop or online coding workshops. So if you didn't have time to scan the QR code that I gave you, you can always go to the top banner. It's rolling right now. If uh, It's a different link. The, two, the online and the in-person are two different uh, uh, programs on Activity Hero. So don't sign to the in-person one if you wanted to be online. So just be careful about that. Um, so the online coding, uh, actually, yeah, let's click on it. So this is the in-person one. It's just a special coding workshop. Uh, it gives us the address. And then the other one, uh, so this is in person. Let's keep on rolling online. Okay. The online it says special coding workshops online. It specified that it's online. Unfortunately, Activity Road doesn't let us change this title after the fact. We would have liked to add uh, on this the other link, the in-person word, but we could not. But this one is online. You can see it there um, and there's no address. So, and this is a program. This is all the workshops that we have. Coming back to my uh, presentation, I wanted to ask you if you have any questions. This is, um, I see some questions in the chat. No, we cannot. Uh, so the question is, will the online classes be recorded to be viewed later? Unfortunately, no, we cannot do that. That's not uh, legal to uh, tape anything where children are there. Uh, this is for the protection of your child. So no, there's no recording. We will, uh, the teacher sends uh, an email to the parents in the in the middle of the programs uh, telling you what they have covered. Uh, if your child has uh, an issue or a problem, we'll contact you directly and let you know about this. For CS Link Legend in-person class, is the class recorded in case we need to miss it? No, again, we cannot record children, um, but you have, uh, so the one thing that I didn't uh, mention is that uh, CS League, Titan, and Legend, we are doing two things. We are giving homework to the to the students. It's not mandatory, but it's highly uh, recommended. A lot of parents were asking about homework. So to re reinforce what the lesson was done. And the second thing that we're doing is that we are sending emails to the parents biweekly uh, to tell them how, what they covered. The other thing is that because we have several legend classes, tier one in the in the week, we have three. Uh, if your child is going to be missing and you know about it, then you could maybe join another class of that week. That's possible. The only thing is that they might not be exactly at the same level, but our classes are small. So it, it's going to certainly be the same teacher. Like we're trying to do all legend classes, same teacher, if possible. And so the your teacher the teacher will know your child and say okay I can I can you can come on that time and we will do you know I will uh, catch you up or I will you know teach you a little bit more privately because you're not at a, at a different level. What is the equivalent of the CS League for online? It's good with a coach. So uh, let me go back. Um, so this is after school. Uh, so this is CS Links, it's in person, but online it's called Code with a Coach. Uh, where is my chat window gone? Okay. Um, do you have locations in the East Bay? Uh, yes, we do. We teach at, we are going to teach at some schools in Fremont. And uh, let me go back to our locations. We're going to be in Berkeley, I believe, uh, in Hayward. Uh, so Hayward uh, and in Piedmont. How many kids in each CSL class? Very good question. We Right now we max, uh, last year we maxed out at eight. And I think we're going to keep it at eight. Um, this is for two reasons. First of all, our rooms are not that big. But second, we want to keep it small to, so that it's a, it's a good energy, but it's not too much. 
And if a child is coming from another class because they were sick the Monday or they had a soccer game on Monday and they want to attend the Thursday class, then we still have room for that movement to happen. So we cap it right now at eight. And I have to tell you right now, the classes are pretty small. It's only at each of the spots, it's one or two students that have signed up. So we're trying to like get people to uh, choose the dates uh, where other people have already uh, signed up, if if that's possible with your schedule. Because you, you know, having a private class is great to some point. You really want to have friends around you and our programs are designed to be a lot of group programming uh, and collaboration. So. Uh, can you click on the Milbury and see what classes are available? Sure. Uh, so in Milbury, if I go there, hopefully it's um, it's easy to find. Uh, I'm going to go with youth. And uh, nope. All right. So this is uh, youth enrichment, maybe. Good for fun, fall 2023. Found it. And we have digital R with Python um, and junior programmers. So digital R with Python, that's a Monday at 3.30. And this is for 10 to 13 years old. And we have junior programmer for five to seven. Those programs, usually the when they are offered at the city, the students will have to bring a laptop with them. Okay, just want uh, to warn you. Sometimes uh, we they don't, but please read for the description to make sure that, uh, uh, you know. So for example, digital with Python, sorry, uh, certainly you will have to bring a laptop. A laptop or a Chromebook, Chromebook is fine as well. Okay, any other question? Uh, Oliver? Or maybe I already answered your question, but your hand is up, so. Okay. Well, I, I hope that you guys will try us out if you have not already. Um, we have a lot of returning students. So usually people are pretty happy about our services. We want to obviously hear from all of you. We want to know if uh, um, you know you will be able to uh, to join us, to try it out. We really encourage just, you know, even if it's just one session, um, we really want to make sure that all the students have an opportunity to uh, to do computer science in their school. And it's not always available. And sometimes it is, but then it, they don't do enough. So we want to make sure that uh, we're providing the services that you need. So there's something that we are not offering and you would like to like just send us an email at contact at codeforfun.com. Thank you very much for joining me. I wish you guys a very, very great weekend. It's sunny outside. I don't know if it's sunny in your part of the world. But uh, it's sunny outside, so we're definitely going to enjoy this weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye.